Lauren, thank you. And from Lauren, our coverage moves to the Clinton campaign. CBS 4's Elliot Rodriguez is near the Javits Center where Hillary Clinton never spoke. Elliot, good morning. That's right, Maribel. Good morning to you. We never did hear from Hillary Clinton. I heard a lot, though, from her supporters, and they basically are in a state of shock and disbelief. I'm sure they still are right now, even though they were told to go home. They felt that their candidate had the temperament, the experience. Uh, she, they, In their mind, she won the debates. They felt that the polls were looking good for Hillary Clinton. Uh, it really was a surreal experience. It was supposed to be a big celebration of the Jacob Javits. Center. That's a, a big location of 4,000 people inside that building. They thought it was going to be a massive party, but that did not happen for Hillary Clinton and her supporters. At 2 o'clock in the morning, uh, they got a visit from her campaign manager, John Podesta, who asked the folks it, at, in the uh, Javits Convention Center to go home and that he had a message from Hillary Clinton. Your voices and your enthusiasm means so much to her and to Tim and to all of us. We are so proud of you. And we are so proud of her. She's done an amazing job, and she is not done yet. Well, the announcement meant it was time to go home, then leave the Jacob Javits Convention Center, only about two miles from where Donald Trump was holding his victory party. Clinton supporters had long faces and a lot to worry about as the results came in last night. Losing Florida was a major loss, even though they thought Miami-Dade and Broward County, the turnout there was impressive. It was not enough to change the uh, vote count in the state of Florida, and as more vote tallies came in, Clinton supporters realized it was not going to be their night. I can't explain that other than the fact that maybe we weren't ready for a woman yet. I think it might be that? Oh, sure. I think that there were some people who were not ready for a woman president. I think there were some people who also were closet fearfulness of a woman's leadership. When you have a, a, a candidate who says the words, grab her by the, you know what, caught on tape, and women are still voting for him. Hard to understand. Appalling. Hard to understand for the folks in that room. They're still trying to come to grips with the fact that uh, Hillary Clinton has lost this election and Donald Trump is the president-elect. Uh, right now, Hillary Clinton is staying at the Peninsula Hotel, which coincidentally is right down the street from Trump Tower. Uh, she called Donald Trump at 2.30 in the morning to congratulate him, and we do expect to hear from Hillary Clinton later on today. Reporting live from Midtown Manhattan, Elliot Rodriguez, CBS4 This Morning.